Hey YouTubers, this is a, a project I'm working on right now. This is a gun I haven't been able to find a lot of info about in the 243 version. This is Remington's SPS Varmeter in 243. It is a varmint rifle, has a 26 inch heavyweight barrel, varmint barrel, whatever you like to call it. Uh, it does not come with that rail. That's a weaver tapered 20 minute of angle base that I put on there. Uh, been waiting and waiting, just for trying to decide whether to put the scope on it. A Vortex PST Viper 6 to 24 MOA, one MOA reticle will be going on this rifle. I have that already. Um, when I got this gun, I'm like, oh, you know, hey, I like this stock. It's not too bad. You know, sometimes these plastic stocks uh, aren't all that great. I really kind of like this different form how it flares out there uh, I went to you know took it apart did a good cleaning with it like I do on all guns when I get them new and uh, went to put it back together and I like to torque them down uh, to a specific inch pound setting you know, with a excuse me plastic or wood stock you want to go about 40 inch pounds well cranked it down to 40 inch pounds here on the two action screws here and here. Well, when I t cranked it down to 40 inch pounds, this front action screw went in so far it locked the bolt and I couldn't even open the bolt. So I had to lighten it up a little bit. I've actually gone through and put a little credit card shim in here, piece of credit card in there so I can get it to that 40 inch pounds. But one reason I've been trying to decide whether to put the scope on or not, like I said, is I do have a aftermarket stock that's on its way from Stocky Stocks. It's going to be a Bell & Carlson uh, Varmeter style or PS police um, stock for this Remington. Now I'm going to give a little plug to Stocky Stocks. They're not paying me for this. Uh, ordered a stock. You know, I was out of stock. They're pretty good about getting stuff in. I uh, just wasn't coming in, wasn't coming in, wasn't coming in. So I called them Friday, last Friday. Uh, today's Monday. See if I could switch it. They're like, oh, normally we don't do that if you read your email. I says, you know, hey, I know, I understand. I just, you know, if you guys can, you can. If you can't, I understand. Uh, they had to get some, talk to somebody else, get approval from the person who wasn't there. Came back, says, hey, yep, we're going to switch you out on that, no problem. And uh, they, because there was only... One in that series, they have a bunch of different colors that Bell and Carlson has that they keep in stock there at StockyStocks.com. And there's, they only had one color in, and that was the olive drab with the black web. And that's fine with me. So, got the stock. It's on its way. Got the confirmation today in my email. It's on its way. So, one reason I haven't put that scope on is because when I do get that new stock, even though it is an aluminum bedding block, it will be bedded by my gunsmith. I will have him bed the action and then up past the recoil lug a little bit. I've just had really good luck with bedding them. It just takes out uh, any wiggle room or anything with bedding that. It's just, you know, people have given the example of a glove, um, but it's just a perfect mate to that. The only other thing that I've done to this, I did have my gunsmith cut a recessed muzzle crown on there. I don't like the factory one that came. kind of looks like a monkey's butt hole. So I had him cut that one for me. He did that. And that's the only other thing that I've done to this gun. Now I'm just waiting for that stock. Once the stock gets here, get it bedded, start shooting it. I do have some bullets already loaded up. I will be using burger bullets. This does have a one and nine and one eighth twist on the barrel, and I'm actually going to be shooting these burger 95 grain bullets in the 6mm, of course, because it's a 243. <laughs> so I got 200 of these. I'm going to try. I did. I have had a 308 before in the past. It was a Remington uh, heavy-barreled stainless steel 
fluted synthetic, had the nice aluminum bedding block. I sold that to go to for school money. Um, you know, I shot out to 800 yards. I think it was the farthest I ever shot with that. Um, so, kind of leery. I'm going to this little 95 grain pill in a 243. You know, where before I was shooting 168 grain bullets. Uh, it's been so long, I can't even remember exactly what I had them loaded up to. They were right around 2,600 feet a second. Um, the gun they were in wasn't super accurate, but it was consistent. I could take Hornady 165 grain boat tail soft point hunting bullets and put in that thing, and it would shoot just a hair under an inch all day long. All day long. Uh, you know, I went to 168 grain Sierra Match Kings with that 308. You know, got a little bit better. Not a whole lot. So, this is my new project Remington SPS 243 Varmint. So, I've, you know, done some checking on YouTube, didn't find a whole lot of reviews for the SPS Varmint or in 243. So, hopefully, this little cuss is going to work out well for me. My buddy does have the, the SPS Varmint in 308 that he has a Bell and Carlson stock on. Uh, not the same stock I'm getting, different one. But his gun is a shooter. It really shoots. The uh, only thing he's done to it is take this stock off, put on his Bell and Carlson stock, and that's it. He does have a Vortex scope on there, the Viper, the regular Viper. Um, and he's enjoying the crap out of it. So, we'll see. What this little 95 grain pill does, they say, you know, it's for 1 and 9 twist and faster, so hopefully this 1 9 and 1 8 twist is going to work well for me. I do shoot Burger 210 grain bullets in my 300 Remington Ultra Mag. A little side note, those 210 grain bullets group better at 300 yards than they do at 200. It just takes them a while to settle down or go to sleep, as some people say. Uh, so I've been impressed with those burgers, that 210 grain burgers. Man, I've shot all the way out to a thousand yards with them, and uh, they work well. So 95 grainers, we're going to give them a try in the old 243. See what happens. Uh, if these 95 grainers don't work, might have to try some Hornady Amax 105s and see what happens. I sure don't want to go any lighter than 95. Uh, run the ballistics on this. 95 versus 95 grain 243 bullet versus 168 grain 308 bullet. More velocity, less wind drift. Uh, I can't remember on the wind drift. I may be sticking my foot in my mouth. I have to look at my charts again. Less drop, more velocity um, than the 308. So we'll see how it competes with my buddy's 308. And then his he's got a neighbor that uh, shoots 308 also. The three of us went shooting here a few weeks ago, and so tinder dry right now here in the state that I don't want to run the risk of going out and shooting rocks at the range like we were before and starting a fire. So that's what you get for living in a desert. But anyway, I'll keep you guys updated on the uh, Remington SPS 243 project. You can have some pictures from the range or something. We'll also be doing a little information on that Colt 45 back there sometime too. Talk to you later.